Anderson, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Our big story right now at 6.30, former Mobile Mayor Sam Jones was the center of controversy at Government Plaza this morning. With a 4-3 vote, the council denied a nomination to make Jones a member of the board for the Mobile Area Water and Sewer System. As Local 15's Christian Jennings explains, Jones was Fred Richardson's nomination for the Moss Board. That's right, and Richardson had strong words for the four people who voted against his nomination today. The four people, Gina Gregory, Bess Rich, Joel Daves, and John Williams. Today could very well mark the deterioration of accrued relationships on this council. Prior to the council voting no to Sam Jones becoming the newest member of the water board, Councilman Fred Richardson read aloud a speech he prepared, knowing that getting the votes he needed for his nominee was unlikely. At one point, he made a biblical reference to get his point across. As is recorded in the book of Matthew, the 27th chapter in verse 23, this was the question. What evil? Has he done? He served on the county commission for 18 years without one flaw being cited. He served them as mayor of this city for eight years. Despite his comments, four council members voted against his nomination, including Bess Rich, who said her dealings with Jones when he was in office were inefficient. It was very difficult for me as an elected official to establish communication with Mayor Jones. Richardson says he can't remember a time when the council has turned down a council member's nomination to the mall's board of directors. As I promised, if there are any who oppose my nominee today, that I will work hard to cause anyone you nominate in the future to go down in the likeness of the Titanic and disappear from the face of this gender as did the Malaysian Flight 370. Very interesting choice of words by Mr. Richardson. Now, I did speak with Council President Gina Gregory after the meeting over the phone, and I asked her why she didn't vote in favor of Jones, and she told me that she didn't feel like it was a good decision for the city at this time, especially on the heels of such a divisive election. Reporting live outside Government Plaza tonight, I'm Christian Jennings, Local 15 News. What a day downtown. Well, Airbus.